the exhibition at Carlisle. Juvenile Noises Hurdle is next, and this is a two mile, of course, for four year olds. And a decent sized field for this one. That's Baltic Sunrise at the top for Graham Clutterbuck, Bell Harbour, Stu Gray, Centre Parks, David Hooley, Champion Moose, David Robertson, Gurr Martin, the Mount Pleasant Ball Roads, St Nicholas at Wade, Darren Thompson, Angelica Zinn, Padre Hogan, Beyond the Rocks, Leon Van Rensburg, Lemonade, Joshua Sutherland, Loves No Friend, Martin, the Midrist Fast, David Robertson, Solo, Epaulette, Padre Hogan, and Western Points for Paul Rhodes. So 14 then. Ready they go, off they go. Uh, last week's winner, Gurr, is the first one to show. That's into the first, a very short one too, the first. They're all safely over it, they've got seven more to take. And it's Gurr who's in the lead. From Mount Pleasant in second. And the David Robertson pair on the inside, Midris Fast and Champion Moose as they get over the second. They're all over that one. Okay, and Solo Epaulette. It's just the back marker for that one. He's no more than eight lengths off the lead. And Gurr, who was the leader last time I looked up, he's now right smack bang in the mid division. It's Mount Pleasant who's taken it up and gone on from Baltic Sunrise and Mid Wrist Fast and then Champion Moose. As they go past the winning post, then with a complete circuit they go. With Lemonade and the black and red hoops is the one that's widest on the track. Along with Angelica Zinn. Patrick Hogan horses, but it's Matt Pleasant for Paul Rhodes who's clearing the lead by three lengths to Champion Moose in second and Midris fast both for David Roberts and then Gurr has moved back through into fourth for Martin Leader. After that one comes Baltic Sunrise and then Beyond the Rocks. Solo Epaulette is tucked in behind them and then the rest of them are virtually in a line. So Matt Pleasant it is. Look, he has a little look around, see how far in front he is. But he makes his way to the next flight. He's got a lead of about four. We have a girl who's now come back through into second again beyond the rocks on the outside. He's third. <coughs> Champion Moose and Midris fast as they get over the third. Looks they're all safely over. Love's no friend now just been relegated to the back spot. But Mount Pleasant it is. Champion Moose second. Midris East is or Midris fast is third. Then comes Gurr, then Baltic Sunrise, then St. Nicholas at Wade, who's probably in the best four-year-old hurdler so far this season. The division is wide open this season. Mount Pleasant is the leader from Gurr in second. Then St. Nicholas at Wade has moved through. Champion Moose is still there as they get over the fourth. That's the midway point in the jumping. Bell Harbour has now just dropped to the back, but it's Mount Pleasant in front. Six furlongs to go and they get over the fifth. That leaves them three more flights to take and it's Mount Pleasant in front. Baltic Sunrise is second. Then beyond the rocks and St. Nicholas at Wade. Gurr is tucked in behind them. Then Champion Moose after that one. Western Province trying to get closer. Then Midris Fast who's dropped back. Centre Parks has been running quietly throughout the race. Angelica Zen's moved to the outside. Lemonade's got work to do so too. So do it. Loves no friend and Bell Harbour. They've got three to take. And it's Mount Pleasant who's clearing the lead by two. Being hard driven by the jockey to keep up that lead. Then comes Beyond the Rocks in second. Baltic Sunrise. Nicholas away and Champion Moose and Gurr over to third. Last they go and the leader really jumped that well. And got away from it well. Took a length out of the field. From Beyond the Rocks in second. They're queuing up behind. There's a mass of horses ready to challenge this Mount Pleasant. And now Mount Pleasant is beginning to come back to them. Over the second last. And suddenly the complexion changes. Champion Moose was a faller. And Angelica Zen's gone on from nowhere. Angelica Zen's come through to take it up. Midris Fast is in second. They're racing the final flight. Over it they go. It's Angelica Zen from Midris Fast. And then Baltic Sunrise and Beyond the Rocks. But it's Angelica Zen and Midris Fast. Now being pressed by Beyond the Rocks and St. Nicholas at Wade. Angelica Zen's in front. Here comes Beyond the Rocks and St. Nicholas at Wade. It's got to be a close one as they race up towards the line. It's got to be beyond the rocks and St. Nicholas at Wade in a head bobber as they flash past the post. Angelica Zen third. They midris fast after that one. And that is mighty close. Those two look the best two four year olds so far, but which one of them's taking it? Beyond the rocks, it says, but it could well be a dead heat. That, that was very close. Let's take a look and see. It's definitely a winner for Leon van Rensburg for Beyond the Rocks. And he took it by a short head. So Beyond the Rocks for Leon van Rensburg, the winner. St. Nicholas at Wade for Darren Thompson, second. Angelica Zen for Patrick Hogan, third. Midris Fast for David Robertson, fourth. Um, Baltic Sunrise for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. <laughs>